I want to share a small pastime of my friend what happened to her. She will never share it. But her story inspires me a lot. So I want to share it. She is my god sister. She is our god sister. And she is a very close friend of mine. Just like my sister. She is from Iskon. And she served there for quite a long time. Her husband and her, uh, her husband had heard about Gurudev, that Shila Gurudev, uh, Shila Nair Maharaj is a high class devotee, and uh, he wanted to see him. But my friend, she had heard lots of neg negative things about Gurudev. Her name is Radha Priya. She had heard lots of negative things about Gurudev. She was a very strict scorn devotee. That time both of them, husband and wife, were living in Vrindavan and Gurudev was at Mathura. Her husband wanted her to meet Gurudev as well, but she was not interested. But since her husband was telling her to come, she had to go with him. But in her mind, she was convinced that I have, I have nothing to do with Gurudev. I am not going to meet Srila Naya Maharaj. I will stay away from him. So they went there to Mathura. They waited there for some time and there were like around 100 more devo devotees to meet Srila Gurudev. So she was sitting at stairs, avoiding to go inside. She was chanting, doing her rounds, waiting for her husband to come so that she would, um, you know, go home. She could go home. But I have nothing to do with Gurudev. That was her thought process. Then after waiting for some time, Radha Priya Didi was sitting on stairs and there was a room with a door um, and that door opened up. And when she turned to her left side, she directly saw the lotus feet of Gurudev. Then she looked up and Gurudev directly looked into her eyes. Radha Priya Didi said, that moment I was his. That's it. One moment. Even though she didn't want anything to do with Gurudev. But in that one moment she became his. And she decided he is my Gurudev. Nothing else. Just that one glance of his of Gurudev's beautiful eyes did that magic. Then they both decided to take initiation from Gurudev. And they got a date after a week's time. The devotees confirmed that after a week's time they can come again to Mathura for initiation. So they came. Now the thing is, during that time, the financial condition of this family was not really very well. It was bad. They had some financial problem. So they had to manage the entire one month in rupees 500 at that time. And also they were living away from their home, which was in Bangalore or Mysore. But she was like, how can I give a small amount to Gurudev at the time of Diksha for giving Pranami? So she offered rupees 501. She didn't want to give any, any less amount. So she gave rupees 501. And Gurudev looked at it. Gurudev saw the money which she gave. And what did he do? He took one rupee and gave rupees 500 back to her. And she was thinking, why Gurudev has returned rupees 500 note? It's for him. And she said, Gurudev, you keep it. It's for you. Gurudev said, no, you keep it. You have given me everything. So, 
She still has that 500 rupee note on her altar. She keeps it on her altar. Since that day, she never had any shortage of money. Never ever. Before that day, they would struggle. But after meeting Gurudev, there was no such issue. Just like the pastime of Sudama and Krishna. Just like that. Gurudev knows everything. How he returned it. It's so incredible. So I wanted to share this story.